Blamo right in front of the copper. Although I remembered we gotta do something with this copper and we have to generally do something with all of this. This whole everything is a mess. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you, Pinter. Much appreciated. Uh, cause yeah, we gotta, we gotta have a bit of a mess going on here. We got a couple irons being mined. They're just the un impure, not great irons. Uh, so it sort of is what it is. But they're being fed, smelted, and then split off into other things. I think all of this is going into that storage container. There's a bit of a traffic jam that happens. But it's not too terrible. It's like pretty much just the screws get stuck. That's about it. But if we get the tier two conveyor belts, we'll be able to manage that pretty nicely. <laughs> the reminders. Reminder one, satisfactory. Do something with copper. Reminder two, satisfactory. End the stream at some point. <laughs> right. I remember that now. Thank you. Uh, but yes, copper. I've got two parallel lines coming in post smelt that are, I mean, they're lined up decently enough. This, this corner is a bit kink, but you know what? We got to draw the line somewhere with it. They still don't really have a cool way to maneuver a already placed down conveyor belt to make it like really nice and clean, which man, I really, I want to just be able to grab this point right here and just, eh, I don't care if it costs another, you know, tube or whatever to do that. Like a non-refundable tube nonetheless. But oh well. That number two is really important to remember, especially today. We got shit to do. We gotta do some quick shopping, because there's um There's like carnival stuff going on here in Germany soon. Like this weekend is a pretty pretty hip hop happening weekend. And Friday's stream, in fact, will be affected a little bit by it. Last thing you remember is Yeti literally tying knots conveyors. It's not a it's not a knot. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big knot, isn't it? I mean, look at this fucking thing. Just look at this. Look at the state of it. This is where we left off, basically. This is one of the last things I did. <laughs> what a goddamn mess that is. We got the, the pipes coming by into this bit to, to get down onto the other side of this merger so it can be merged with the other iron just so it can be blockaded because this whole thing's crammed up. It'll all be going, though. We'll scrap it. We'll, uh, we'll chop and change it around to make it a lot nicer. Looks really cool, even if it is heresy. That is the thing that I like is is even the really messy knots and look at that tree way up there. Uh, just the really horrible <laughs> looking. How the hell does this work? Thing. It actually looks really nice when the factory's going. Like if you check the update three trailer that they've got on their site, they've got a couple really cool looking factories going on there with the trains flying by and everything. And like holy shit. That looks, that looks amazing. It would absolutely take ages to do with just one person. We can just disassemble that. I don't think we need that. Um, it would take so long to do. But man, um, let's get going with this. We've got... A lot of spare copper and iron bars on me. All right the concrete so we can get the resource sink at least like built maybe yeah that's all going that's all going sort of like the last room that i had i like the the look of all the oil barrels and everything going by that was great i just had like that crazy conveyor stacker with four lines of barrels flying through yeah yeah fist assemble is absolutely a thing i mean <laughs> it starts it starts with f you know it's either frenade or or fist assemble or yeah, I don't make the rules. That's how they named it. Do I even have the foundations and walls? I do. Okay, good. I don't have the fun walls though, so that's a thing. That's a thing. I guess we have to wait for the resourcing thing to finish up so I can throw the concrete into there. And then see what I need to do the proper walls. Oops. And we, uh, we start making the factory there. I'm gonna need a lot more, uh, 
concrete at some point. That is way too slow. You have to buy the fun walls with coupons now? Oh. Oh, say it ain't so. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program. Balls. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra awesome kilometer. Store. Go awesome. Alright, I guess we get those built. We need more cables and reinforced plates. I don't think I have reinforced plates being made, do I? Nah. But I think that's literally just plates and screws or something like that. Like, it was really easy to do. Yeah. Super simple. You can also buy items like a stack of iron plates if you're really desperate for them. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know how much of that will be doing, but that kind of saves me from having some just being made off on the side to pull Hello from. Hello everyone. Insert witty comment here. Ah, proof for August, so witty. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, grants on six months. That's a promotion for you, sir. Much appreciated. And some wires. And then I'm assuming they also need to be powered or so. I'll just throw them back here somewhere. Man, this thing looks wild as hell. Is this the front? Yes. Walls. Yeah, okay. Windowed walls. Oh, hey. All right. Conveyor wall mounts are in there too. Pipeline wall attachments, wall power poles. Absolutely. Double-sided wall power pull. Thank you. And I think we can free place those in some more ramps and stuff. Oh man, the BattleBots Arena is going to be fantastic to have. The vehicle that you get, the Fix-It Factory Cart TM for just driving around your own little factory. The perfect little BattleBot for the BattleBot Arena. Adequate, pretty good. Okay, sure. A fix it coffee cup. Oh. And some parts. Yeah. Okay. So then the question becomes I think I have to feed stuff into it, right? How absurdly expensive are you power-wise? 1,000 points till the next coupon. Okay. Yeah, I, I have to... Oh, I gotta belt it in. storage container then <laughs> just just to see how this goes get in there I have a stack of iron a cool resort hub to relax in and get away from all the work and machinery oh oh man like straight away the very first processing 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> are we all... These are all working and on, huh? Yikes. Okay. Get another biomass burner, I suppose. Need some more wiring. Ooh. Absolutely not worth it. You have to throw like 2,000 reels of wire in to get one coupon. It's definitely an emergency thing only. The unlocking things is the real focus. Okay. That's good though, because otherwise it kind of brings me back to the, um, the like, the Minecraft rant with the uh, equivalent exchange where it's just like, it's really easy to turn one thing into another thing and then you just don't have to worry about it ever again, basically. Give me some biome and that the large inventory squares really fucked with the UI a bit. Make some more of these. 30 megawatts when consuming. Oof. Eventually every factor will have a tap off to send all surplus to the resource sink. Definitely don't put a coupon into the resource sink. It's definitely not a thing you should do. <laughs> okay. Because now, now you know I have to do that with my first coupon, right? That's a thing that's happening. Man, it'll feel good to tear all this down and just be done with it all. Alright, back on with you. Ugh. Okay, it's like two points per. Yeah, right, so we need like 500 iron ingots. not so bad though at least not yet i'm assuming the next ones get to it gets more and more expensive to the point where it's like ten thousand of them okay so we'll then see about I guess smart plating project part number one sent up the space elevator to complete phases of project assembly huh. I guess we'll do that because this doesn't require any of the uh, concrete or whatever the more we find the item, the more points it scores. Might be plus one per step, or double per step, or the number of items used to craft. Sure, sure. And we were out of power for a bit, so that's all uh, doing its thing. Yeah, it got blocked up. That's fine. I guess. It's going at an okay pace, I suppose. I think if I fix the clog, that might be okay to get us going for a little bit, but I do remember how much concrete you need just to get going with, like, making a building. It's easily a hundred of it. I need to ramp this up, too, so I have a cleaner way up. <laughs> We'll start with a copper building, how about? For now, it'll just have to go in through a wall that's just, you know, not there or so. Big, thick foundation. Actually, generally fairly flat around. A bit of a hill over here, but that's a little too close to the edge. I might be able to get away with just the smaller one here. That looks like it'll be alright.
It begins. I don't remember how big I made them previously, but I remember needing a good bit of room. It's it's surprising how much room is needed, and considering how much space we have out there for stuff, like holy shit. It won't be a problem. Space is the least of our concerns on this map. I can't just I can't just drag you, huh? The miner and that pull and that pull. Oh, can't afford one cable short. Because right. I threw them away into the uh, part assembly research, right? It's a bit awkward having it go through the building, but give me a minute. Now, how did how did that work by putting stuff down there? Is that yeah, you just push the push the button for it. Cool. Because otherwise I'm gonna keep hitting tab thinking that that's the button to do. And the nice thing with the orange-ish walls were that they could be painted, but the metal ones couldn't. Karen, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Seems you've missed quite a bit. Well, you you got here pretty okay for this stream. We haven't done a whole lot yet. All right, iron plates. Grab some screws and pipes while I'm at it too. I'll use six, I suppose. What a weird looking wall that is. Ugh. Why does the preview look so strange? <laughs> Alright. Maybe for at least basic copper stuff, that could be all right. And then we need a constructor or two. I need more cabling, of course. Probably two constructors. I don't think feeding both belts into the one will be okay because that's like a normal copper that we have out there. It's actually producing at a pretty okay rate. Just got back from the gym. Is ready to relax with me now? Nice. It's a nice relaxing game too, Satisfactory. It's pretty chill. I think that's all we need to do with copper, really, is just wires and cables. Alright. So yeah, definitely two. And then we can just have one line feed into each and we'll see how that goes. Oh, iron plates. Shit. I'm a little bit curious also how much of this game has changed since the last update. Like how the old factory is, if I were to grab that save and load it up and just see because I never got very far doing like my main storage building thing we had like the mega iron thing going on where it just distributed in this massive skyscraper of a building we had all the smelted stuff going to and shoot out from there and it's a pretty good progress reinforced iron plates oh <sighs> God damn it. 
And I don't need that list up anymore. Planning on making a Skies Factory to get everything flat. We already have really flat on this map. The the other map, though, we needed to do something like that. Like, there just wasn't enough space for anything. It was so hilly and cliffy with just massive trees and stuff everywhere. It wasn't an option for what I was planning on doing. But this one, we've got so much space. I don't think it'll be a problem. Because this whole area up here is generally flat. But then there's also this massive area down below, which is also pretty flat. So... We'll... we'll manage. I don't think that'll be a problem. There are these cool support struts that you can get nowadays, though. Down the road. To, uh... to, like... You know, it's like a big column, so if you wanted to do a Sky Factory, you just have these massive columns to... keep it up there. Would look quite cool. So we'll see how that goes. Is that enough room? I think that'll be enough room. So we will rip you guys apart a little bit more to get you to come in a little bit cleaner. Something like that, right? And then for now... For now, just something like that. And we'll dress it up later on. Oops. I'd like being able to use the mouse wheel to rotate them at least. I feel like that wasn't a thing before. Paul and Helen, welcome, welcome. Good to see me back in RimWorld, yeah. Yeah, shit, a lot of people are happy to see me back in RimWorld. Fuck, I think there's like 9,000 views on that first video already. Which is ridiculous. Absolutely absurd, considering my videos normally just get like 800 or so after a couple weeks. Really weird to me that so many people are hyped about RimWorld and only RimWorld and nothing else that I do, but hey. It is what it is. To each their own. Yeah, 15 per minute, 30 per minute. Yeah, okay, so we could really go with, like, a couple of them. But for the moment, just to get us going... Wait, you used a wire? Wait, yeah, okay. No, we're, we're alright. You both do wire. Because I think this guy's outputting, like, 60 per minute or something like that. So there'll be a massive shortage... So really, it ought to be... We'll turn this into a multi-floor thing at some point, I'm pretty sure. But th these can be splitted. Sky Factory sounds a bit like some Minecraft pack. Hmm, Sky... Sky Factory. Like you're putting building blocks in the sky. Somebody should make a Minecraft mod like that. That'd be kind of cool. Like, imagine... Okay, imagine this, right? You start on an island. All you get, though, is just, like, just to get going, maybe just, like, a tree or something, you know? And that's it. You just have to make do with that. The one tree where everything starts. Maybe there's, like, a bit of stone or something on there, typically, but maybe there'd also be... I don't know, like, other little islands around, but, like, really far out there, though. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be cool? Somebody should do that. Call it, like, blocks in the sky or something, right? 
Ja. Thinking I could probably have these split when I get the conveyor risers or so. For the moment, this will be fine, though. And then you'll have to go into the... You'll have to go into other constructors, actually. Which... Just right in, no problem. For the moment, because there's not a whole lot of copper stuff I'm doing. That sounds super stupid, who want to play that? No, I don't, I don't know. Am I taking the fist right now? What? What do you mean? What are you, what are you saying? It's a good idea. Some, somebody should make that. <laughs> I need more cables. Maybe I just make a new one of them, actually. We need more... Plates? No, we're good on plates. Screws we're okay on. Pipes we're okay on. That seems fine. Okay. Power's out. I know. I'll deal with it in a moment. I should call it No Ground Sky. Ah, maybe. Wonder how much of a hissy fit YouTube would throw should you replace this psychedelic noise with some black metal. Depends on the black metal. Hello, Deman. How you doing? Like, there's so much underground black metal that I think YouTube wouldn't even pick up on. But hell, you wouldn't even have to go very far, like, even something like Insomnium would go quite well with this game. Insomnium's pretty chill. At least when I listen to them, it's been a while, maybe they've changed. That's that powered. I think we'll turn off this crazy coupon thing because, good god. It's super expensive for what it's currently doing, which is basically nothing. Although, if it's already consumed everything, it shouldn't be taking up any power, right? Just passively sitting there. I think what had happened is, you know, we actually ran out of fuel. more fuel it is. Hailstorm? Nah, not really. I don't know, like pirate metal stuff. Nah. Insomnium would be great. They're a pretty nice fit. I'm trying to think of some more. But a lot of the bands are eluding, re eluding me right now. Yeah, there is the uh, the small icons. I turned it on for a bit just to see, but I think I'm going to turn it back off. Like, I thought it'd be kind of cool for people watching this on a TV and stuff, but like, holy shit. Oop. I mean, because otherwise that that's pretty small. <laughs> I'd, I'd like it to be an in-between thing. Skyblocks became so popular, there's a volcano block, and a volcano, sea block, all underwater, etc. at this point. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's super duper not for me though, like I don't... I don't really enjoy it. I see the appeal, it's just holy shit not for me. It's just, it's annoying and so slow to get going. Uh, yeah, right click, that's the one. So there's a bit for you. You're okay for a little while. And that's roughly 30 in each, and you just have a bunch of leaves. How are we doing now? Okay. It still has that spike, but I think that's because I got four constructors up currently. 
you're not using power at all. So I think we're okay. All cest? I'm not sure what all cest is. They're pretty chill too. You are cables. And you are cables. And you don't have power? Wait, if those aren't turned on. Oh yeah, I never actually linked them up. Maybe maybe that thing is using power still. So now those are all on. Yeah, it looks it. Okay. And if I fist-assemble that power line... Are you not... What are you linked to? You're linked to this pole, which is also linked to this pole, which is connecting these two. Are you off the grid? What a goddamn mess this is. Holy shit. No, I guess we're okay. We're okay. They all seem to be linked. All right. It's a French band that somehow combined rock-like softness with black metal overall sounds somehow. Hmm. Yeah, I think it only consumes power when actively devouring items too. What threw me was that we had a power usage spike, and I attributed that to these, but these weren't actually powered at the time. But, uh... Seems okay now. And we can do... Something like that. With a Moija. And you guys just go right on into it. So that is a bunch of cable being done for me. The only thing is we're not currently making any wire, but I should be able to just do that by hand. Although we do need a lot of wire actually. Maybe we turn you off actually. We just have you just right on through. Like it's kind of whatever. So we get a mix of both. It's not the most efficient, but right now I don't really care too much. We just got to get something automated. Ugh. Pops Creek, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Having a case of the sleepies today. Didn't want to regain consciousness. You're like my cat. Man, Kimba has just been sleeping like the past two days. I'm not sure he's been outside longer than 10 minutes. Probably still sleeping in the armchair. Like last night he was... Yesterday he was on the armchair downstairs, then came upstairs to sleep on the armchair up here, and then we were on the couch, and he came over to the couch to nap. And this morning he's napping on the couch, and now he's napping on the armchair downstairs again. What the fuck? Man. That's copper, though. And of this mix of stuff, we've got enough that I can start tearing that all down. I've got inventory space as well. So we will... I th think the miners and smelters can kind of stay where they are. Okay, you're 30-30. You're mining at 30. Right, so we're, we're balanced there. That's already fine. So I don't have to do any crazy split or anything like that for the smelting. So that's that's okay. 
It's just the everything else, though. We can get rid of. Alright, so we'll just have a couple lines of iron smelted coming in. I think there is more iron kind of sort of nearby as well. Oh yeah, the three lots out there. That's right. Right, and those were slightly better than they I think those were normal. So one of those can fuel two smelters. Actually, I think I am going to uh, switch this around a little bit and turn you. So you both output kind of together a bit. Because I can squeeze in. Sort of like that, but I think I might turn you around. And then output you directly into a smelter that's here. Because it's the smelter output that we care about. Yeah, like that. Can we still fit in a miner? Nah, not happy with that. Okay. So maybe that wouldn't work. But it looks like it it looks like it really ought to. Oh man. Okay, well here it works. That's okay. We can make do with that. Then you just go right in like that. And then the iron production. Considering where the iron was over here, the bonus iron. That'll be coming up. I suppose it could be right next to the copper building here. Leaving obviously a bit of space just in case we have to expand copper. But... We can do that. Build it out a bit and keep it on the grid. Like here will be the start of it. Biomass burners in the way. All sorts of stuff in the way. But, that seems kind of okay. It's directly next to these guys. And then these guys can come in through the back way. So this will need to be, this will need to be a pretty big building actually. Like, really big. Here. The big thick foundations to make sure they go all the way down. It'll need to be big like that though, because we got to get a lot of room in there for smelters and also the constructors and then the construction chains and all that. Oh yes, it's all coming back to me now. Pedro Tertero, welcome, welcome. How you doing this day? 
Was there a yeah B flashlight? There we are. It's a very tall building. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that kind of footprint would be quite good. It's pretty big. Just everything's in the way, though. Okay with that though. So smelted iron. We'll see about that. How much does one belt move currently? Is that 60 or 30? 60. So I could go with one belt. Merge them onto the same. I don't know what kind of an input would require that much though, so I guess we'll keep it separate for now. Good working at the office. Man, who isn't at work right now? What? I feel like everybody's at work right now. Jeez. EDF! EDF! Good day, Pagoda. Yeti. Good day to you too, Pagoda. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing all right. And since we're going to the fat foundations for this, we may as well get that on the hot bar. That's encroaching the biomass. Fine. Encroaching the biomass. That sounds like such a problem, really. <laughs> Man. You know, we really may as well just bring this whole thing up. At this rate, we may as well just bring the whole thing up to this level. I don't remember if that caused lineup issues or not with other stuff. I think the walls might be a bit strange if we have to break this out into like a, a skywalk type area into another building. Then the hub it needs to move, which is a very annoying thing to move currently. Encroaching the bottom, that sounds like an odd industrial metal band name. Hmm. Maybe something synonymous with encroaching. Not like invading or taking the biomass, that'd be like a power metal name. Big footprint that is. Okay. Can we make the little chests? No. I can't make my own little personal storage. So we'll have to borrow these. Because there's a lot of stuff inside of the... Why do I have just... Okay. There's a lot of stuff inside the hub that I need to get out first before I can move this. Six carapace, five berries, I think that is. The biofuel, may as well just throw that in. Uh... 
the have a wood quick <laughs> nah takes a little while I have just biomass I'll turn the wood into biomass then just condense all of that intrude aggressive biomass steampunk metal What's steampunk metal that just sounds like industrial metal surely right Oh my god, I could just put stuff on the ground? What? Since when? Cohabitation of the ecosphere? <laughs> wow. Fancy. I think that's about the best we can do. Also some flower petals. It's for dye. We don't really care about dye. The metal rods I can probably put away. I miss those. And that's that's about it. A lot of this is just like iron ore and crap that I can put into this guy. Oh yeah, and coal. Got a bit of coal going on. Okay. Limo. And I, I guess I can pick these up again now. So the hub. We move. Where is like definitely out of the way? Up here, right? Like, this is definitely out of the way. Yeah. Oh man, there's a lot of space up here too. This is great. There's a lot of space on this map. I like this a lot more. I have some biomass. And biomass. And the other burners. the one I guess just the one uh, I think I already got rid of the other one didn't I uh, not the easiest getting up here Isn't the map the same, just different starting places? Yes, but, uh, I mean, the world is so massive. This is a better start location, how about that? But yeah, it is all just the same. Massive world. Yeah, we should probably get the second one in there, too. The 15 plates and rods. Reinforced plates nonetheless, I think, right? Nope, standard plates. Food. The external smartass in you is satisfied. <laughs> I like how it's the external smartass. <laughs> So, one pull for the two of you. One pull for the two of you. And then these pulls link together. And then we got another pull here and that's like all the power being fed from one pull. And everything will be happy and cool with that. And then from there we can spread out. So all of this garbage then. Oops. 
can go. I keep thinking it's Visassemble. I keep hitting V for it, but I don't know why I have that muscle memory. I get that a lot. You ever have that with games? Like you're playing something, you've just got this weird fucking muscle memory of pushing this key for something, but you, you have no idea why you even tried to push that key. That's what's going on with me. A Zion for Freedom, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the 69 bits earlier. Happy to have you. This music is quite ominous. Like I'm doing something really horrible and terrible and the game's like... setting it up for... <laughs> Am I being attacked soon? Shut. Something, something, too much pollution or so. Design for freedom, doing, doing good. Mostly drunk in your safe place. I, uh, sounds, sounds good. <laughs> Seriously, this music. What the hell? And until we get, whoops, the big support struts. Do it that way, that's fine. However you want me to do it, game. You know what? God damn it. I'm gonna build a ramp up there. I'm sick of this. Reminds you of Homeworld Cataclysm, of the one and only horror real-time strategy, and at times sounds like someone's on acid. Hmm. Well, you don't count uh, They Are Billions as a horror real-time strategy. Nowhere close, like at all. Hmm. Bias aside, or is it genuinely that different? Would like the ramp to be on the same grid. However, we manage that. Chainsaw away. Get that out of here. We are going with those two things. Guess just like <sighs> I don't know how this is going to be. But I think we eventually get down to like that. And then we have... Around there? Ah, oh, that's in the way! that? Did I fuck up? No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Nice. And it's on the grid too, so I can like, if I ever need to drive around for whatever reason, we can uh, like nicely link that up with some other thing and stuff. Good. 
It's just a bit large. What is this? Can it not be there? Everyone in this community is doing okay. Personally, I'm doing all right. My wife's sick with a uh, stomach flu type thing, but so far I'm okay. We got carnival coming soon. We'll be going to that. Looking forward to it, actually. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, I guess I could leave that too. That could be just like the start of the road, maybe. You know what? Start of the road. Hell yeah. I'm not really sure about that being there. But if I were to small ramp? Uh, buttons. That still, still peeks through a bit, huh? Can I use explosives to get rid of rocks? <laughs> Alright, so you have to beat that then. Which means we... Because we can't really put our... We can't really put our ramp there now. So there'd have to be some sort of alternative way to get up. Which would be a weird loop around type thing. I guess. It could also be that we just have like a big, a big wheeled vehicle that could just go up and over that. I don't know. Picked up yarn. I thought you said you picked up yam. It's like what? <laughs> picked up yam. It's fine. Hey, okay. Whatever you say. So finally, after much delay, that's a pretty okay size, I think. We'll have four, at least, no, at least five lines coming in, actually, because there's, uh, there is three irons out there. Yeah, okay. So walls, then. Sort of in the way for those guys. We'll just keep that all open then. And we'll keep this open for the ones way out there. Okay. For some reason your calendar shows the German carnival. I have no idea why. You don't have carnival and it's on your calendar. Hmm. I guess if you wanted to travel, because like you totally could. Alright, power poles, right? We need to still stretch power to get all this sorted.
out to here. But why specifically this carnival doesn't show any other activities? Well, I don't know exactly how it is, but I think like this is like the carnival, like the huge one in Cologne and everything. loads of power pylons because these nasty inefficient ones with only like four hookups suck to deal with and you're already being fed from this pole that doesn't need to exist anymore Okay. And you're still getting power from... Nothing. I think you just have that much of a backlog. There. Just this huge line of power pylons. <laughs> Looks a bit odd. You are smelting iron. You're still set for iron. Okay. You can drop the miner over foundations if they're not too high. Drop the miner over foundations? Interesting. So like they kind of dig through the foundation to get to the iron. I think I'm okay with it though. I'm not gonna rip them down for that. Good to know though, because um, these are really close. I might one day want them to be attached to the grid, but I think for now it's just kind of whatever. We'll deal with it. There's some busy door action going on today. We're so popular. I guess really you'd be snaking around to go through one day the double wall or double window whatever thing so for the moment there you go and we'll just pretend and this wall can be closed off then ha 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 so power's an issue again I think it might just be fuel because I did the really basic biofuel stuff and not like the cool condensed fuel whatever It's never about religion in Germany, it's about making the gray time a bit more tolerable. A whole lot of gray. Oh yeah, those... wait. I don't even know... I don't think I ever filled these two, actually. Wow! Yeah, super duper. You're on standby. You don't need to be on. In fact, for the most part, you don't either. Okay. Busy door over fancy chimney cleaners. Oh, fancy chimney cleaners. Like cleaners that are fancy or cleaners specifically for fancy chimneys? Because I don't think we have a fancy chimney. Maybe. Well, I, we do have kind of a fancy chimney. Sure, the chimney's older than America is. Fuck. <laughs> I, think that, I think that counts. Why are these flashing? I know they're there, game. I know these are here. But I can't put stuff way back in here. Petals, the grass, the wood. Actually, they can be over here. And then the biofuel stuff. 
these berries, the shells, because that all needs to go into the mam, which we have to unlock nowadays. The chainsaw can be put away, the coal can be stashed away. Alright. Wearing the fancy black chimney cleaner outfit. Oh. The small child was very well dressed when they showed him when they shoved him up the hole. <laughs> Ugh, phrasing. Uh cool though. And there you go. Just so it's done. So the miners over here. Are we going to bother doing that right now? I suppose we could. I need more concrete plates and the handheld miners. To make the handheld miners, I need the equipment workbench, I think it was. Which could sit on the side here. Might do that, actually. It's a decent enough, like, central point for everything. Oh, and I can reach it from here. How cool. And... Yeah, none of you have power, right? Your power line, I think, dead ends somewhere over there. You have no way to connect. So we'll bring you up. And all sorts of distracted. That's how it goes, though. That's what this game does to you. And just in case I actually want one day a road over here, we'll go ahead and put the pole on top of the foundation, because holy shit. It's so annoying uh, having to take down a pole to uh, just move it a little bit, because you have to remember what all is connected to what. It's a real problem. So obviously, if I don't have these on a foundation and I plan on having a road come through there, I have to take them down to put the foundation down to put them on top of the foundation, then reconnect everything. Oh. Why are we shoving children into the holes? Your chat crashed. <laughs> no reason. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. That's where you dead end. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of you. I don't know if you keep the coupon, um, like, in memory how much I had or not. That's fine, though. And those are just some storage containers holding my general stuff and things. Cool. So, let's do... You know, you could probably stretch all the way across. keeps that complete other end of the factory totally open for whatever may come that way. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm okay with that for now. For now. So, are you guys, are you on and working? Yeah, it looks good. I see way down there some bags slowly chopping their way forward. So I think that's everything powered. Sans, obviously, the stuff going on with the iron, but the rest of this should all be working again. We just currently have a clog. But okay, so I want three miners, and we'll say three smelters, but... Uh, I, th I think it's a. I think it's actually six smelters I want. Ugh. All oh, right, and I was going to put down the equipment workshop. No, not there. Down a bit. Equipment workshop. Yeah, that'll be all right. 
Okay. <laughs> Fine. I'll rotate it. I don't want a doorway into nothing. There we go. Yeah, that's not a whole lot better. Okay, whatever. It, it's it's fine. Three portable miners. Man, these are easy to make. You blew... You blew me up on PayPal. But please do okay. Much love. Good night. Zion for freedom. Thank you very much. There's, um... Below the stream there, if you wanted notifications, you can, you can donate through stream, but it still gets to me on PayPal. But thank you. Have a good night, sir. Happy to have you. Uh, four portable miners? No. I don't want four. Take it, take it back. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> it's just, it's like sitting on the table, like we're, we're working on it or something, you know? Yeah, a little more to the right. Shit, that looks, that looks all right. I'm okay with that. Nice. We're decorating. I forgot wire. Good night, son. Take care. I'll be back on Friday, but not for as long. Friday's stream is going to be like an hour or so again because of carnival stuff. Channeling my inner The Sims player. Dude, I love that so much in The Sims. Just like, I love in general just a little decorating around. I always wanted to be like an environmental designer for games and stuff way back when. Because the, um, just like, like Bethesda does it pretty, where's copper at nowadays? Fuck. This building. Bethesda does it really well where you get like these little, just little scenes that they make. There's no commentary or anything for them. But you, you still know exactly what was going on just by looking at it and just little stuff like that I loved. And I like doing stuff like that. I would have loved to have had a job like that. I don't know if that's just a specific position that they have or what. Still can. Well, I guess. Ugh. Nah, it's never too late for that kind of stuff. And who knows, one day. Because I'm, I'm in generally an okay area for that here in Germany too, because Aachen has a lot of, um, like, it's a pretty fucking major city and it's not terribly far away. And I know of a few, at least two game design companies that are there. And then hell, even Cologne's not too far away. And there's, there's at least one there and definitely an option. And then Europe being Europe, I could also just work for a company in Belgium or Netherlands or, you know, wherever. Like, holy shit. Which is still a really weird thing to me. Like, it dawns on me every now and again, like, we could just go to, you know, Belgium or France and just be there and live there and stuff. Like, no problem. That's, that's so strange to me. Going to... that away. And that away. Sure. And these things being normal, they output 60 per minute. So yeah, it would have been six smelters for all of these. So we'll have to move this belt to get it out of the way a bit. But we'll have just a big smelting... Well... Although, hold on. We need to split these, each of them, to get into six smelters. The corner that I opened up is out that away. So our 
I might make a smelting building. The limestone's not being smelted, or is it? I think it is, right? Or is that just being straight up made? No, that's just straight up made. That doesn't need to be smelted at all. How do we feel about making another building out here? Because we'll always be getting like the fancier miners and all that that mine even more. And then there's still more copper out that way, I think. No. Okay, like way out there. Okay, so that's pretty far away. Yeah, but still. Because we need to fix it. We need to fit in six smelters, so... Yeah, let's do it. And we'll get it up on the same grid, too. Which means building these out and deconstructing them later on. Right about here, I think. And this will be the foot of it. I also need the chainsaw again. Rip barrel nuts. Did I ever tame a lizard to doggo? I don't know if I ever saw one where I was. I don't know. I might have killed one, but probably on accident. Are they cute? They're super cute, you monster. I I don't know. Maybe I didn't kill one. They're probably too cute to kill. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> don't ban me. <laughs> uh, and yeah, chainsaw for that. Which will we need? We got the six smelters set up. I got stuff for belts. We we'll probably use some more plates. Yeah, plates. And then splitters and mergers, I need at least three splitters. Yeah, and okay, I need more plates. The rest of it should be okay, though. Yeti, murderer of pets. No, I didn't do it. You don't have evidence. Although saying that, there was that one guy back when I was playing Dying Light the following when I mentioned not having a uh, good time with flares, and he actually went through supposedly all of the Let's Play videos looking for the incident in which the flares didn't work for me against those night bastards and it's like I didn't see anything I think you're lying <laughs> fuck maybe I edited it out I don't know Jesus Christ I don't know maybe, maybe there is evidence out there and maybe somebody will go through and find them God. <laughs> flare guy I don't even know his name that that's what he's gonna be called though flare guy look at that planet out there do these air dudes actually have drops, by the way? Because I never got around to killing them either. They also bring you stuff. Most of it is trash, though. No, nah. that's the best kind of stuff to get, though. Right, I needed, um, plates. And the chainsaw. I don't want another way up over here, but at least it's easy enough to jump up. Chainsaw, and a bit of biomass for fuel. And while we're on the subject... Yeah, they're like, they're only halfway, no problem. Lizard doggo farm automation next update. Oh man. I imagine just this massive factory of just like... You know like... Like cow milking machines basically, but somehow incorporated for lizard doggos bringing you... Goodies. 
I don't know how that'd work, but that's what I have in mind. I didn't. They ran from me, if you remember rightly. Okay, good. But wait, no, why'd they run from me? This isn't even okay fuel. I need proper fuel. Damn it. I didn't attack them. They had no reason to run. I didn't do it. Actually, let me build a craft bench out here. Because who knows what I'm doing. But it could be that I need a craft bench out here one day. And now we've got one. Get the walls up first. It's weird how that goes sometimes where something's just slightly overlapping it so it doesn't uh, fit in anymore. I think that's actually the exact same spot though. <laughs> Oompa lizard. <laughs> Oompa lizard doggo Oompas. <laughs> Lobotomized lizard dogs that are remotely controlled. Holy shit. If we breed some sort of a parasite that uh, effectively mind controls them. A bit like that ant fungus thing that like tells the ants to go up trees or whatever to die. Fucking weird. Or there's a... Um, there's a thing in cat shit, I think, or at least can be, is most often found there that kind of does that. It's like a mind control sort of bacteria. I think there's probably just like maybe one incidence of it ever happening to a human, but uh, I, I guess that's a thing. Anybody know what I'm talking about with that? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm just imagining it. I don't know. Fuck, I don't even have, like, stairs, do I? Or ladders? I guess I could do storage container ladders. Ugh. It's a proto Zoon, but you forgot its name. And you may not be a kid whose mom had it during pregnancy. Oh man. Because I think generally, like, if a person gets it, they just get ill. Like, it's not a huge deal. But, technically, it could, in theory, effectively mind control. I'd like to have a second story with these then, too. Just so the footprint isn't that big. But we could. Tentaculates? Yeah, yeah, basically tentaculates. Although the cat shit won't, like, turn you into a cat or something after you die. I don't think anyway. Oh, God, maybe. Horrifying. What a way to go, huh? Cat shit turned me into a cat. Although, that would explain why so many cats are assholes. Like, they're just a person who died a really stupid way and they're pissed about it. I can see it. We might be onto something there. I think we've cracked it. Cats are actually people. Toxoplasma gondii. Cat poop mind control. Doesn't sound familiar, but if you looked it up, I'll take your word for it. We could just conveyor lift up and over, and we could still output. Is that right? I think that might be right. And then can we get a conveyor pole on top of these? Seems like no. Right. Although, the belt's happy with it. The pole itself claims it's too steep. Yeah, right. I think we need the window 
thing to make this really work. All right. Well, fine. It's something we'll have to come back to because they've locked windows behind a coupon thing. Ugh. So we can instead... Can we... Turn... Power lines can create the pulls for me, so I don't need that down there. And then I can still keep conveyor pull it too. Because I put down conveyor pulls a lot. It's a lot easier trying to tell it where to go when you do it this way. You will need to be risen, I think. You might also need to be risen. The disease is toxoplasmosis. That sounds familiar. Yeah, we need that to be uh, a lot higher. Because I'm going to have miners coming through here. Ah, wow, shit. We can bump these guys forward more too. That's fine. Gotta be neat and tidy. There's no other way around it. And actually, if I move those up, you might not actually need to be risen. You could probably just, just be here. Yeah. So there's that. And then the three other smelters. On the same line, but forward a bunch more. And then when we get around to doing windows, I can probably scoot them back to where they were, because I think that will generally work. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. If only I had the stackers. <laughs> Actually, I don't need you to be like that. But you can just be there. You can be there. Your guys' inputs. Much of the same, I think. Yeah, I don't have the sackable conveyor poles yet, though. But that'd make this a heck of a lot easier. I should probably just do them, but I think they're locked behind a... Uh, a tier 3 thing, if I'm not wrong. So then you guys, you need to be all split up and stuff, and we're missing, we're missing you. I don't think I can do that with this guy until we get the stackables, so we'll just have to deal with it, and we'll just have one of the split lines just being a dead end. Mm. Yeah, just out here. You think you had that when you were a teenager, you don't feel different. But you guess that's what someone who is mind control would say. Yeah, you don't really know, maybe you're mind controlled right now. You have no way of knowing. 
You don't know. How would you? If you did know, it'd be pretty shit mind control. I feel like if you did know that you were mind controlled, you'd only know that you're mind controlled because they let you know. These belts are going to be kind of ugly. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. But we can get Route 1 out the sides. And Route 2. You know, you know. Isn't the best mind control love, and you know when you're in love. Well, that'd make it the worst mind control. You know when you're in love. It's a very effective mind control, but you know... You know that it's happening. Man, these belts are slow. So, three of you... Out this way. You get to just hang out. You're a dud belt. Encroaching. I don't believe you. EDF! EDF! EDF? What EDF? I accept the promotion with honor, Commander. Valkyrie, thank you very much. Yeah, congrats on the promotion. Six months. Thank you very much. How you doing today? We'll even go around the bushes. Look at that. We'll be like, damn, Yeti, wouldn't you care so much about the foliage? Bang. Finally. Okay. So that's that. It's neat and tidy in here. Kind of shit out there, but that's just how it goes. Oh my god. That's just kind of how it goes. I think we're going to do a little bit better there. <laughs> yeah, alright, fine. <laughs> it's okay. We'll have to come back here one day with the uh, stackable conveyors to get that looking a heck of a lot nicer. And then the outputs can be... They can be merged, because we have 30 output per minute, and the belts hold 60. So we split them to cook them, just to re-merge them again. Okay. Just remember, the people that were upset, they patched the ghost chains. Is that still a thing? I don't think so. Because you could, like, have the train track glitch beneath a wall or something like that into the underside of the world, and then you could kind of build off the map or something like that. And I don't know. People are a bit strange sometimes with what they're wanting out of games. And I need more basic stuff. At least the whole factory is basically running, though. We're not currently making any more iron stuff, but, like... Look at that. Loads of concrete going on. Yeah, doing pretty okay, Valkyrie. 
No complaints. Yeah, this is all just at a standstill. But I think we still got enough spare back here. Yeah. yeah. Actually, let me see about also just maybe we can get the stackable right now and just do it right the first time. <laughs> I mean, so we just had a bit of wasted time, but uh, maybe it was tier two. Oh, yeah, it is tier two. Yeah, okay. I thought it was maybe tier three. Well, shit. That also gets me the tier two belts, which is kind of cool. So fine. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do it. More pipes, sheets, and reinforced. Tarkov players, we want double barreled shotguns back, maybe some sensible ballistic damages to some items. A satisfactory players give exploit. <laughs> Completely different player bases. Although, to be fair, some Tarkov players, from what I understand of Tarkov, can be really fucking anal about the dumbest stuff, like, this isn't 100% physics accurate, duh. It's like, I, I don't give a shit, oh my god, it's a game, fuck off. But that might just be me. Man. They're rare as fuck, fortunately. Good. Because nothing, nothing could kill the community faster, for me personally, than people like that. Like, if you want realism, that's cool and fine, but man, there's a limit. You gotta remember it's a video game. There, that, there's that done. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. What is it? What's it cost? additional verticality, <laughs> conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Rods, plates, concrete, okay. So, more plates. Sure, sure. Most players are aware that it's a game, even with a hefty emphasis on realism. Good, good, good. good. Kind of the same vein with a lot of people who are like, this is a realistic lighting mod and the night times of the game are basically just pitch black. It's like, yeah, cool. It's realistic. You can't see anything at night without any light source. Cool. What a horrible looking game this is now, though. Like, uh, I don't know. I saw that a lot with realistic lighting mods in Skyrim and Fallout and just... Uh, and people who play Dragon's Dogma with like minimum brightness because they really like the pitch blackness of it. Yeah, not for me. So we wanted to do... Because I think, I think these can be all scoot in a little bit more too. I liked Dragon's Dogma with a low brightness because it was pretty wild just having suddenly a chimera come out of nowhere, but it got really annoying really fast. It turns out being able to see is a pretty cool benefit humans have. The first belt, I think, just goes right under. And then there's the other two. Yeah. So you can... You just really can't turn very much, but it does work good. For a second, I thought it was maybe not wanting me to do that. And then you can come across, but you have to be really careful. Oh, it's because it's encroaching on the... Well, then why'd you let me place this stacker here then? What? Seems a bit odd, doesn't it? 
put it over here. That's fine. Same sort of deal. We can do butter. happening again, guys. Can you just... like, really straight? Like, ideally all the way straight, but you don't really want to lock onto that, huh? Okay. We'll have to call that good enough. General rules need a half block more than it seems. Mm. And then you should be able to just write over. That's not clipping or anything. Good. Good. And then we can also do the conveyor stacker on that side if we want to clean that up one day. But for now, I'm getting a bit tired of doing belt work, so that'll be another time. Right. And then in? No, not quite. There we go. Locked onto something else. Alright. There. Nice. <laughs> All your shot. <sighs> they call this game O War with Auto Snap for a reason. Man. It's like the exact opposite problem with Fallout 4. Because Fallout 4, I just want to fucking place something somewhere. But this. Well, I guess they both kind of have the same issue. Because Fallout 4 oftentimes would also do that where it's just like really, really fighting you with the auto snap system. And it's like, I just want, I want the corner wall bit like this, but it really wants this wall to keep going that direction. But it's like, no, I, I want it to turn here, but Fallout 4 just fucking refuses. Ugh. Right, so we need to merge these. So... Um, three mergers again? Yeah, three mergers again. And then just two becomes one over and over again. So you'll have to come a round or so. To meet up with this guy and that the two of you merge. Just so it's done. And then... The other two... Can just generally emerge. Is it too late to get a stacker in there? It is. Are you going to throw a fit if I try to feed a belt through here because it's blocking something? No. It seems like it'll be kind of okay with that. But only just. Yeah, not quite. I'm coding Spice Girls at you. Did I? Oh god. 
I regret nothing. What was the quote? <laughs> And then you'll have to be the lift. But the lift... Oh, it does fit. Oh, perfect. To become one. Oh, that's a pretty lame quote, though. Ah, okay, yeah, you, you don't fit. You don't fit. See, it's weird that it lets me... <laughs> it's weird it lets me put the attachment on there when nothing could actually come out from that because it's too... It's too close. But I guess if I were to rotate you around so you're facing that direction, you'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. That's a it's a bit wild. It's a good bit wild. I think we'll just have the merger. I should be able to get rid of that, right? Yeah. I think we'll just have the merger here. And I don't think you were able to go any lower, right? Yeah, a little bit. But then you can come into... What? The side? Not, not really, huh? So th this all needs to be a little bit higher than fine. Fine, I'll do it. Because you've got plenty of room to be higher. That should still work, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Okay, and then we need the stacker back. <sighs> Still, a lot of fussing. A merger. And then. Oh. Okay. So that's that. And then the two of you need to merge, although that should be a lot easier. Cause that's just, that's just ram it in. Ah. Can you easily? Yeah. Hey, you can. And then make some, some stacks going. Right exactly where a wire is. Perfect. Fuck it, it's easier to move the wire. I think a third one too? It's a bit wild. And you know, the wire actually works. Hey, it works. <laughs> cool. 
and then we just need to feed them around. We actually need to be going out this way. Nah. It doesn't go through a rock. No, it's fine. We we carved up the rock a little bit. We softened it. It's just uh, it's nicely laying there. And we dug a little hole for it. The shorting current melted a nice hole for it. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Shut. Alright. And we keep on going. How far can you go? To there. This is what I had to do when I was transporting that coal that last time. You guys remember that? I did a lot of that off camera, thankfully. It took a while. The oil we did on stream, though. That was definitely a thing we did. We did all of that on stream. I don't think any of that was off stream. Fuck, that took ages. Stack on the hotbar already, but I got stuff on the hotbar already. Seven, seven's too far. I can't, I can't stretch my finger that. I can totally stretch my finger that far, actually. I don't want to. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll call that. Uh, I guess three, then four. And then five and six. Because when it comes time to put down walls, I'm typically ready to put down all the walls, so I'm not, like, switching back and forth all the time. Plates. Which I might have to make more of. You yeah. know. We can get plates at least done up, because there's no reason not to have this little bit going. Reinforced plates I have none of. Mwah. None at all. Okay. So we have to make plates and reinforced plates to make the thing to make more plates. It's okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. That is fine. The multi-tier oil highway took ages to do. I think that was an entire, like, five-hour stream just doing that. It was so long. How many of these plates? Just, like, two, I think it was. I think just two. Mergers and splitters work best when you place them on foundations before the belts, so they don't snap to grid positions if you put them on existing belts. Oh, as they don't snap. Right, yeah. Okay. Actually, they don't snap to anything when placed on existing belts. Yeah. It's just a bit wild. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, though, it's really easy just getting the belt set up and ready and then just throwing the merger on there. Because otherwise you got to line the belts up nicely and get them ready to go into it. And it's like, if, I, if you don't really care about the positioning too, too much, it's really easy to just, you know, just do it and be done with it, which is what I've done. I can, af after the stream at some point, I can go back and, um, and dress it. I don't really want to do that on stream. There's no huge purpose to doing that. I think we'll just get the basic iron stuff going 
And then I think we'll have to end the stream there because, again, I got stuff to do today. All sorts of stuff before festivities. The Constructor. I th think... Because we have... These are only 30 per minute belts, right? Yeah, 30 per minute belts. Like buying beer and schnapps, yeah, yeah, pretty much. That ain't, that ain't too far from the truth. We need... I think just play it, yeah, and that's a 20, that's a 30 per minute and make 20 per minute. Okay, so yeah, that'll work out pretty fine. We can actually just leave you there. You're a bit, a bit forward, but... That... will do nicely. Yeah. And to fix the overall waviness of it, because I don't have windows yet, so it doesn't matter. You're happy with that? Wow, okay. Amazing. And then you'll come around and you'll help out with... I think just rods, right? Screws required rods, I think. And that's a 15 per minute thing for the rod, so you could actually be split. Which I suppose we can do now. Will there be enough room? There might be enough room. If I were to do the splitter... Uh, there? Uh, think then! Oh man, what a, what a, what a tight fit. Seems a little too far. No, oh, now it's encroaching on clearance. Ah, shit. All right. There's no help in this one, I think. We have to do a bit of guesswork. That was a pretty good guess, actually. Nice. I'm happy with that. Close enough. Cool. Rods. And rods. And for the moment, you output into a storage container. It'll look real good and shit for the moment. And then you can be a Mark II belt. So we don't run into some crazy clogging going on. Although shouldn't be a problem anyway because we're doing 30, 15, 15. So that's that's 60. And then power it, which the power line.
The song is weird. What the fuck? What is that sound? Okay, we'll get rid of that. Everything breaks. There we go. It's all back on. And there's still room to build another one. I think that's working out pretty okay with the power system. You'd think the load of this port pole would be just absolutely absurd. Like, I can't imagine what kind of a fuse that would need because that's that's what's working off into all the rest of this. Yikes. Whale songs. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just a... it's a whale that's, like, pitched up a lot. It's a lot what it sounds like. You're still good. Oh, yeah, you were turned off. You can probably be turned back on. Okay. How we doing? Good. Yeah. Okay. You need to be on. Got it. Sorry. Ahem. Cool. So that's we've got copper stuff going, being made, both wiring and cabling. We got some of the iron stuff being made. The sheets and rods. I'm just going to turn you into a standard belt because, again, you don't need to be a Mark II. With everything said and done, that will be a fully saturated output belt. But it looks like the timing is all weird anyway, so it doesn't... Like, extra doesn't matter. Um, but we're getting all the basic stuff, except for the reinforced iron plates, which we need also screws for, so one of these guys will turn into screws. And I don't know how we're doing with all of that, but I'll have to do that off the stream, and I'll bring that all over at some point, because I think I might have to move our general limestone belt as well to make them a little more tidy, to tie them together. But the general thought is that eventually we'll have all of that city anyway with all sorts of crazy stuff being made just everywhere. So it'll all eventually have to move, and that's why that's on the grid. Because I know now that I can build off of that and will still be attached to this grid as well. So that that's all linked up with this stuff in a way then, if that makes sense. But I will end it here. We did, um, oh, we did, we did not a whole lot, but that, that's how it is sometimes, you know, it's pretty chill. It's pretty relaxed, it's all pretty slow. Um, we got the we got the factory foundations mostly set though. We got a couple buildings going. Just need to do a little more transporting, and then we need to get some hybrid facilities going on. Can you have your satisfactory? It'd be a drop-in multiplayer thing, like in Troyer, so much destroys your world. There is not a whole lot of really cool multiplayer stuff for this, unfortunately. Like you can host it to just friends or inviting people specifically. I don't think there's even an invite code type thing, though. Like, it pretty much just have to be people on my friends list, which is awkward because I have, I think, just better on my friends list. Uh, because I don't really know many people who use the Epic Store thing. But the... Epic generally has a pretty bad system for matchmaking and multiplayer. So when this comes over to Steam, which has been announced and is a thing, there's no date for it yet, though, as far as I know. But when it gets port it over to Steam, I imagine it'll be integrated with Steam in such a way that you could easily have people join in sessions that way. In May? Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a date for it. But that's the thing. And that'd be great, especially if we could run a dedicated server type deal. Because, like, there's no reason not to have a dedicated server, really. You know, like, you may as well. It's not like if the server's running when nobody's on, anything bad happens, you just accumulate a bunch of shit. 
like a lot of shit. That'd be that'd be wild. Depending on the server. That'd get really crazy fast. So I don't know, maybe it would pause when nobody's on then. <laughs> I don't know. But some sort of a dedicated server type deal going on. I imagine it'll be possible to steam. May 19th. Oh well, okay. Cool, cool. Can we get my satisfactory command updated with that date, then? One of the mods, please. Ideally, both of you do it at the same time and uh, in a very slightly different way. <laughs> Just to confuse Nightbot. But there's a satisfactory command that's got my epic code on there. Because I've got- I didn't want people thinking like, Oh, I want to buy this game now and get it on Epic, and I can also support Yeti while doing that, but also not really knowing that it's also coming to Steam soon. So that's the thing. Yeah, and just the release TBA release 19th May. They seem to disagree- Oh, they seem to disagree on dates online, so leave it for now. Oh. Maybe just release soon TM then, how about? <laughs> That, that also works. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. And I imagine multiplayer will be a lot easier with that. That'd be kind of cool, though. Although I think I'd want some way to modify how much effort it takes to make certain things, because I think if you got multiple people working at the same time, like one dude doing some iron stuff quick, another person doing some copper stuff, somebody else just generally getting research done for other things, like you'd be able to just pound through the game so absurdly quickly. I think it would take a little bit away from the automation of it because you just have people kind of automating that instead. <laughs> 